The Berenstain Bears Visit the Firehouse by Mike Berenstain, read by Grandpa Tom. We're off to fight fires on our engine bright red, with sirens all blaring its full speed ahead. Clang, 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 said Brother Bear, imitating a fire bell. Eow, eow, said Sister Bear, imitating a fire siren. Brrrm, said Honey, imitating a fire truck. The cubs were playing firefighters, pretending their toy trucks were rushing to a fire. You know, said Papa Bear, your cousin Wilbur is a real firefighter. He lives down at the firehouse. Really? said Brother. Do you think we could visit him? Why not? said Mama. After all, he is family. Wow! said the cubs. A real firefighter! The bear family drove to the firehouse. The firefighters were outside taking care of their trucks. Hello, Cousin Wilbur, said Papa. Why, hello there, said Cousin Wilbur. What brings all of you down to the fire station? We wondered if we could get a tour of a real firehouse, said Mama. Good idea, said Cousin Wilbur. Hey, crew, he called to the firefighters. Meet my cousins, Mama, Papa, Brother, Sister, and Honey. The firefighters waved and greeted them. And meet a very special firefighter, our fire dog, the Dalmatian Paisley. A cute spotted dog trotted up and licked their hands. Did you know that fire trucks are also called fire engines? said Cousin Wilbur. The standard truck is the pumper. It carries hoses and pumps water from a fire hydrant. A hook and ladder truck is bigger. It has a ladder that can reach up high on buildings during fires. Why is it called a hook and ladder truck? asked Sister. Because of these, said Cousin Wilbur. Fire hooks are used to tear down walls and ceilings in a fire. Our biggest truck is a tiller rig, said Cousin Wilbur. It has two sections joined together so it can make sharp turns. Each section has its own driver. The driver who steers the rear section is called the tillerman. That's my job. Terrific, said Brother. Could we help you steer? Why not, said Cousin Wilbur. After our tour, we'll go for a ride. Come inside and see all the gear we need for fighting fires, said Cousin Wilbur. Wow said Sister. Look at all the neat stuff. It takes a lot of special equipment to fight fires, said Cousin Wilbur. What's this funny-looking thing? asked Brother. Those are the jaws of life, said Cousin Wilbur. We use them to pry things apart when we need to get into tight spaces. You need special clothes to fight fires, too, said Cousin Wilbur. Would you like to try on these helmets? Do you live upstairs? asked Mama. Yes, said Cousin Wilbur. Right this way. What's that for? asked Brother. We slide down the fire pole from upstairs fast when there's a fire, said Cousin Wilbur. Is that safe? asked Mama. Not always, said Cousin Wilbur. Some firehouses don't use them, but it's the quickest way to get downstairs. Everything we need is right here in the firehouse, said Cousin Wilbur. There's a bedroom, a kitchen, storage room, common area. Rang the alarm bell on the wall. That means there's a fire, said Cousin Wilbur. Time to go. He grabbed the fire pole and slid down. The bear family followed on the stairs, except for Mama. She got excited and slid down the pole, too. Mama Bear, said Papa. That wasn't very safe. Sorry, said Mama, straightening her hat. I guess I got a little carried away. The firefighters put on their clothes and climbed on the trucks. Want to come along, cousins? asked Cousin Wilbur. Yes, they all cried. 
The Bear family put on fire clothes, too, and climbed aboard. Cousin Wilbur took brother, sister, and Honey with him to help steer the tiller rig. With sirens wailing and bells clanging, they roared away. They soon arrived at the fire. It was a smoky fire from a stove in a restaurant kitchen. The pumper truck squirted water. Firefighters climbed ladders to get folks down from the second floor. They rescued pets from upstairs, too. An ambulance was on the scene. Luckily, no one was badly hurt, but the restaurant's chef had a burned finger. Emergency workers put a bandage on it. Paisley helped by licking the chef's face. The fire was out now, and the firefighters packed up their gear. It was time to head back to the firehouse. That was quite a tour, said Papa as they drove away. Yes, agreed Mama. Very exciting. Brother, sister, and Honey helped Cousin Wilbur steer. Here come the brave firefighters, they all cried. Clang, 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 went the fire bell. <coughs> went the fire siren. Brrrm, went the fire truck. The End